Ask and you shall receive. Sunday Gospel Reflection for the Family On the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time, Year C A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke When Jesus had finished praying, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray just as John taught his followers to pray. So Jesus told them, Pray in this way. Father, help us to honor your name. Come and set up your kingdom. Give us each day in the food we need. Forgive our sins as we forgive everyone who has done wrong to us. And keep us from being tempted. Then Jesus went on to say, Suppose one of you goes to a friend in the middle of the night and says, Let me borrow three loaves of bread. A friend of mine has dropped in, and I don't have a thing for him to eat. And suppose your friend answers, Don't bother me. The door is bolted and my children and I are in bed. I cannot get up to give you something. He may not get up and give you the bread, just because you are his friend. But he will get up and give you as much as you need, simply because you are not ashamed to keep on asking. So I tell you to ask, and you will receive. Search, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open for you. Everyone who asks will receive. Everyone who searches will find and the door will be open for everyone who knocks. The Gospel of the Lord Gospel Trivia We know that God does not always give us what we ask for. There are three reasons why some people simply ask God for the wrong things, or things that will harm them, spiritually and otherwise. Many approach God and prayer as if they were submitting a Christmas gift list to Santa Claus. 2. God will also not grant the prayer of someone who prays while living in a wrong or sinful lifestyle with no intention to change for the good. 3. Finally, God will not answer the prayers of those who doubt that God can give his needs. A prayer is effective if we ask with confidence and perseverance, always believing that God will answer our prayers. Gospel Reflection For the parents, when we pray for solutions to family challenges, do we confidently believe that God will answer our prayers? Or do we stay worried and anxious in dealing with these challenges? For the children, Will the things I pray to God for bring me closer to Him and love Him more? You may pause to reflect. If you like our reflection guides, please like and subscribe and share to touch other families. See you next Sunday!